hello everyone welcome you all so today we are going to start a new series of cucumber framework series and this is going to be very interesting and uh, very learning as part of automation stuff so let's get started so we'll see the cucumber intro so the name the cucumber represents uh, some kind of uh, eatable site so cucumber testing is a testing tool that supports BDD so what is a BDD? So BDD is a behavior driven development. So we used to have TDD also where test driven development and this is a BDD. So we'll discuss more about the BDD in next slides. So what it offers? So it offers a way to write test that anybody can understand. So this is the one advantage that doesn't have in TDD. So we're in test driven development where we used to write uh, the code. We used to do every scenario in terms of coding maybe java pearl python ruby any other language we used to write directly coding over there and which is not much understandable to non-technical persons so for example if company owner comes and see what you write in the testing automation then he cannot understand right if he has some technical knowledge on coding then only he can understand so for non-technical person how can this be useful so cucumber resolve that kind of situation i mean it's it it uh collaborate all these people like uh, coding people and non-coded people like non-technical person where they both collaborate in this VDD. So that is a big advantage in the Cucumber where this has been very spread widely across all the IT sectors where all the companies are using this VDD approach. And Cucumber frameworks runs on Ruby programming language and that can also support other languages like Java, Ruby, Groovy and Scala. And uh, let's see what's BDD. So what is a BDD? So BDD is a behavior driven development and it is a software development procedure or we can call process that Cucumber was built in to support. So to support this BDD, the Cucumber was designed in such a way that it will resolve the gap between technical and non-technical person like business persons and a normal coder or tester. And encourage, so it encourage the collaboration of different roles so built in to stay at the understand and the problems to solve and uh, it is very iteration i mean it can be iterative and increase the feedback so whenever we write something like uh, we write some scenarios and the scenarios are going to be presented for the business people where business people can come and uh, cross check our bdd and they will update those bdd files then we can have the code will not change so code will be same so they can change those bdd scenarios so we do have a concept called step definition and the coding so step definition is nothing but when we write some uh, bdd files that will generate a step definition so we'll discuss that in uh, the next slides and the documentation is very important the procedure i mean it will provide your documentation that is automatically i mean it will check against the system behavior because the documentation plays a major role for uh, understanding the business people what automation that we are going to develop so this will re resolve some gap between us as an and the non-technical person and this is a cucumber architecture so this is a normal tdd when we see a tdd development so first we write some tests then after we execute them then there is some there might be some failures so after that we will make them to pass by adding some conditions and later they will re again we will refactor and if there is any again new test cases that is added that is failing then again we will make it pass and again we will do refactor so this will continues all the time so BDD comes in between during the refactor so during the refactor what happened we do write a refactoring called feature so feature writing a feature and making them again failing and making them again pass and again refactor again adding a feature so feature is nothing but whenever you write some scenarios like a uh, scenarios like bunch of scenarios onto one feature like if it is a login module so login module is a one feature for any application so whatever scenarios that cover under this login module we call all them as one feature called login module so we write some code that fails again we make them pass again we refactor then again we will add some new test cases and it will fail and in between this feature of adding so this is how this BDD architecture looks like and this is the main thing so how do you write a features 
so here you can see this is the i mean this is the example which is given by cucumber.io i will show you how can you go to that cucumber.io and see the website of cucumber and this is a feature like you can see you have a comment of tags that feature so eating too many cucumbers may not be good for you so eating too much of anything may not be good for you so and under that feature we have some scenario so eating too much is not good for you then we can have some more like eating a few is a not problem so we can add some eating more is also a problem so we can add another scenario and what we eat a few so what is will be a few when it's a, a slice of uh, i mean angry and then we say she ate three cucumbers and then she will still be full or if she is not full then what else we have we have we can provide more so in a similar way so this is the way where business people involved and where business people understand this cucumber bdd so this is the where the gap between us and the business people is completely overcome in cucumber and the background of this feature we have a step definitions so step definitions are nothing but where we write actual code so that may be in terms of direct uh, uh, gherkin language given when then so this is the language we call as a gherkin language so feature scenario given when then these are language called gherkin either we can override with the other like test ng we can use those uh, methods as well in terms of uh, implementing the step definitions and we'll see some advantages so advantages are cucumber is free and open source so and similar to selenium it's a free and open source and the plugins in cucumber runs faster than compared to plugins in selenium so there is an advantage of time so time of execution or time of executing this uh, plugins is faster and cucumber framework supports other languages beyond the ruby so it has java scala and groovy etc and it is only a, it supports only webs web now for now it supports web maybe in future it might be support uh, other applications as well and uh, this is the short short introduction about uh, what is cucumber what is bdd and uh, what all we can see in this and we'll see more in next session where we try to do some configuration settings in the eclipse where we will set up a small project and we'll start writing test cases using a gherkin i hope this session is useful for you in case if you are new to this channel please do subscribe to my channel and we'll see more in next upcoming sessions thank you Thank you.